What's up out there in Flash Rock Land? This is uh, TFG coming at you once again. Uh, you know, I, I really feel like Ron Jeremy should be introducing the next, next one. This is uh, Hydro Vibe.
I'm that fucking guy. I'm here with Hydro Vibe, and apparently at the beginning of the show, how I said I, I felt like it should be Ron Jeremy introducing these guys. I wasn't too far off the mark because the guitar player, from what I hear, had his belt undone for most of the set. So, uh, yeah. you know, again, it's that weird kind of synchronicity. Sorry. Well, Sorry, introduce yeah. yourselves and tell them what you do. I'm Heather St. Marie, and I'm the vocalist of Hydro Vibe. Matt Dozai, guitar and vocals. Philip Mathis, drums. Elliot Lorengo, bass. Yeah, so let's just get this out of the way now. The same tired, sorry old question of how'd you get your band name and does it mean anything? I'll let you answer that since you oh. came up with it. Because I've got like all kinds of shit going in my head of what it could mean. Uh, well, yeah. I mean, we, we, can, we always usually leave it up to people to tell us what, what do you think it means. But actually, I was, I was trying to describe a sound um, that I was getting like a, it was like a watery vibe, nice. a, a guitar pedal, and I was trying to describe it, and that's, I just came up with Hydra Vibe, I was like, oh man, that's a cool band name, because I'm always like spouting off words, I'm like, oh, that's a great band name, that's going to be my side project, so that's that's how it came about. Well, I like it, it's uh, the Hydro kind of like streamlined, smooth, and you know, like you said, very fluid, mm -hmm. as, as a great master once said, if you're going to be anything, be water. Um, but yeah, and then the vibe, you guys got an incredible vibe going on, most definitely. Thank you. There's an uh, incredible stage presence going on, incredible music. Uh, how long have you guys been together doing this? Let's see, it's a long answer to a short question. Um, <laughs> Matt and I had the band in Louisiana. Okay. We decided uh, when our original drummer couldn't do it anymore because of carpal tunnel syndrome. He said, we're coming out to LA, we're just going to try to make it happen. And we spent a long time looking for our members. And uh, look, we spent a, took a lot of effort finding the right people because, like you said, you, we wanted a vibe. We right. wanted a band. And we finally found Elliot, who was our last piece of the puzzle, uh, March. March of 2006. Yeah, I think so. Uh, yeah. Six, yeah. Six. yeah. And we jumped in. We had been writing the whole time and jumped in Never and said, stopped. you know, are you ready to do this? I mean, we're ready to hit the ground running. And he said, yeah. <clears throat> and jumped in the studio and that October our first show together was in Vegas with Static X at the Palms and that's a good opener yeah, yeah. spent all last year on tour so we've packed a lot of years into one or in a half years yeah really. okay so then you guys are an actual functioning real working band not just kind of going on the weekends and doing it and having oh, fun right. with it. we've dedicated our lives to this so Basically, anybody in the States right now watching this, they can expect to see you sometime in their town then, hopefully. Yeah, mm -hmm. if you haven't already, we toured nine months across a great big part of the U.S., and we're working hard on getting to all the other spots we haven't been to. So, Where, Where's one of your favorite? I know you, you, it's kind of a loaded question because <laughs> everywhere you play is your favorite spot, but where's one of the, uh, I guess, the most happening places that you guys have played at that you really were kind of impressed with the scene and everything? Does somebody else want to take it or do you want me to talk? Um, Everybody's gonna have. Yeah, I, yeah. I mean, I'm gonna say Battle Creek, Michigan, was is amazing to us because those people come, they'll drive to Indiana, Fort like Fort Wayne, Indiana, Lima, Ohio, Michigan, um, just Jackson. Michigan, Michigan, that entire area. Oh, yeah. I'll say that's all one of my favorites, and then Louisiana, of course. Yeah, Louisiana. We're from Louisiana, the two of us, so we get we do good there. We get um, nice love in Kill, Florida, Kill Devil Hills. Yes, yeah. also Outer Banks, ninety eight X. Yeah, <laughs> those guys are watching. <laughs> uh, Richmond, that's a scene Virginia. we just stepped yeah, into, yeah. and it was great. Um, Peoria, Illinois, for some reason. Yeah. I, I mean, I guess the most surprising one it was Lima, Ohio. And yeah. we had not heard of Lima, Ohio. We heard came Lima, there. Peru. You yeah. know, we just uh, came into a packed house, and we've never played to. We've never played a. No, that's so unbelievable. Yeah, really yeah. What I come to find while we've been traveling, um, these little pockets have something in common, and what I find is that they've got venues that are really supportive of the bands. You know, right. they're not 
full of bullshit. They're really cool. The bands support each other. They all come out to each other's shows. And you they guys hear that out there? Bands supporting each other. That's Sorry right. Oh, Have no. I mean, it's, it. I, I preach it all the time. I mean, it's huge, you know. And the third part of that is that the fans come out and support. And we happen to find that the places that are probably the hardest hit with the economy or jobs, you know, when they're like struggling and, and hurting, those are the ones that give the most. This because music's the liberator, baby. Absolutely. It's very you know? true. And it's we're very, very grateful. I mean, it's, it's obvious there. Yeah, and yeah, it's the support thing. I mean, the, the band supporting bands. You got to go to your, these, we're all in it together. You got to go to each other's shows and your fans will go to their shows. And that's how we learn about new music. It's what it's all about, right? You got to keep oh, yeah. the cycle going. Support. So if any of these people in any of these towns want to come check you guys out, where can they find any any tour date listings? Like, where can they get a hold of you on the on the web pages or? Well, obviously, or? the most up to date is MySpace, okay. myspacecom slash vibe. You can also find us at hydrovibe.com, and we're starting to hit all those other little sites that are popping up. We're pretty much all over the place. Million of them. Nice. Now, I've kind of just totally glossed over this, and you know, we usually kind of start the interview section like uh, with the CD, but I see you've got a CD. Here. Yeah. Show that to the check camera. that out. This, um, like I said, we, when we got Elliot in the band, we started recording. We were going to record a full album, and in the meantime, the director from Saw Two called and said, "I'm working on Saw Three, and I really want to use your music." So we hurried up, switched gears, and wrote the song "Killer Inside" that you heard us perform on FlashRock.com. Nice. And uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and uh, you know we hurried up, switched gears, and put this EP out last October. So this and is with the current lineup, of course. Yes, yes, absolutely. And we toured on this EP for nine months. That's our first all over the U.S. Ever. Yeah, really, that's and our first CD. Yeah, we've we'll done, be getting so. a full-length album out in 2008. Okay, so are these uh, available if anybody wants to listen to your stuff, or you guys have stuff downloadable? Or yes, how's that we're on iTunes. We're actually huge on iTunes. And so on iTunes. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we are on CD Baby, and of course, Hydrovide.com has a store at MerchCentral.com. Once again, there's a linked. million of them, snow cap, yeah. just like growing every day. So yeah, you'll find it for, it for sure. Yeah, oh, so yeah. it shouldn't be hard to find at all. So Look this will be picture. your methadone until the actual product comes out then for the rest of us, right? That's right. All right, cool. Yes. Well, is there anything that you want to shout out? Any parents, boyfriends, girlfriends, I don't know, stalkers, uh, people that are sponsoring you, whatever. Right now is the point where I like to let you guys kind of just basically say whatever it is that you want to get off your chest. I just want to thank every single person who made 2007 unbelievable for us. I keep saying the nine months on tour, but it's unheard of for an unsigned band who's out there doing it on their own to stay out on the road that long. I mean, it's hard for signed bands to stay out there. And I think most of that is because the venues were so cool to us, and especially the fans. Each and every one of you who bought shirts and CDs, stickers, posters, you guys really helped keep us out on the road and kept gas in our tank. Yeah, and we really appreciate it. And we've made some great that's friends out you. there. Yeah, that's, that's right. Buy T-shirts, stickers, and CDs when you go see bands because that's the only way these guys are living. That's right. Yeah. Buy your favorite bands merch, please. That's All this been, gear been didn't come cheap. No. <laughs> We're broke, so you guys are really helping us. Thank you. That's very important. Yeah. And bring up a burger or something once in a while. Oh, yeah. yeah, we have had yeah. that, actually. This was the coolest thing out there. If you are a band trying to make it past your local scene, no, we got to meet so many bands on the road, and one of the coolest things ever, this band we played with, they were loading gear, it was the end of the show, and we're loading, and they snuck off, and they came back with a bag of burgers yeah. for us. <laughs> and I'll never forget that, because we bag were so hungry and so broke, and we thought, wow, that was so cool. Yeah. And that was in Otomwa, and you guys know who you are. Thank you, that was really cool. Home-cooked meals. Yeah. Awesome. Absolutely. Sleep on. Yeah. <laughs> I've always relied upon the kindness of strangers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They quickly aren't strangers anymore. I mean, yeah, we've got, got a family a out there now. Yeah, yeah, I find a lot of those people that just want to take you into their house and feed you, and it's like the best you can do is say thank you here to yeah. take some merch. I mean, they don't want anything. They Very just genuine. Want to feed us, take us in, give us a place to sleep. Hell, they'll even let you use their showers at, at some that's times, right. you know. It's oh, like, yeah. and that's, that's a necessity, right. definitely. Once a month. Right. Sometimes they're like, please, go shower. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you think about it, it's amazing. It's amazing how people just kind of open up their arms and say, like, come on, let's hang, you know. Very For a cool band like inspiring. us, that's... Yeah. Well, yeah something to think about music. down the line. That's because you rock. <laughs> yeah, I mean, honestly, I mean, if you guys really sucked, I probably don't think too many people would be, you know. You, know, you, you have your, your, your core small mouth, you know, like the stalker like fashion, but uh, yeah, having, having talent does help to get you the shower and the free burgers and the. That's true. You know. Yeah. 
That's also true. helps us sell, sell a shirt or two, but uh, I digress. People want to help. <laughs> yeah. It's good. Well, that's, that's what yeah. music's all about, man. A happy, you know. Well, it doesn't matter if you're screaming or you're emo. It's it's all a unifier, as I said earlier, as, in, as you guys are experiencing they out there on the road. They can see hard work. You know, even, like, we've had a lot of people, even if it's, like, not their thing, like, they're in the country or whatever, they're like, wow, you guys are really, you're working hard and you got something. How can I help, you know? Right, right. It's great. Well, guys, thanks for coming in, and a lovely lady. I'm sorry. Thanks I use happy. that as a generic uh, unisex term. But I'm one of the okay. guys. Uh, it works. We, you feel like that. You feel like I could have a <laughs> beer with you and, you know, slug you in the arm. So. Yeah. <laughs> Very cool. Thanks for coming in and rocking it out. Thanks for having us. This was Hydro Vibe. Again, you can get their EP until the new album comes out. These guys are not sticking around where they live. They're touring everywhere, so you will get a chance to check them out very soon. I'm that fucking guy. We're here at FlashRock.com. It's time to party. Woohoo! Yeah! yeah. Woohoo! Woo. Get your high roll by Come on, Let's go! That's great. Come on, Jackie! Really appreciate it. Come on, Jackie! Come on, Jackie! So, so you guys are in the area, so you guys are just a couple of miles from here or something? Yeah! yeah. yeah. I'm just yeah. to yeah. another realm. Yeah. It wasn't here. It wasn't on this earth. I went somewhere else. And it was just total peace and joy and love.